What's up guys, this video is going to reveal the 5 biggest test game myths that you commonly hear in the manosphere so that you don't fall victim to one of these bad pieces of advice. Alright, so we're going to be breaking down some of the worst pieces of advice that you commonly hear in the master when it comes to text game. Make sure you guys watch until the very end because you don't want to let one of these pieces of advice ruin your game. Let's start off with the first one, which is one that you've probably heard dozens and dozens of times. Stops texting you, you never ever will initiate contact again. When so never ever double text a girl. Here we can hear it again from AMS. The only time you double text a bitch, man, is somebody that shot you and you need that bitch to come help you. The only time you double text a woman is if someone shot you and need her to pick you up, right? This is how, to the extent they take it, right? And this is common piece of red pill advice, never ever double text a girl. And there's an element of truth to it, right? So if a girl is texting you, right? And maybe you you know, you know text her back and she didn't respond, you don't wanna be double texting her right away. You wanna chill out, wait a day, she'll probably text you back, right? So there's an element of truth to it. You shouldn't be double texting a girl right away. However, if enough time has passed several days, at that point, she's probably unlikely to hit you back. And if you wanna see her again, you do have to reinitiate. You're a man. It's okay for you to be persistent, right? Again, you can be very persistent without being needy. And there's many valid reasons why a girl might not text you back, right? Guys always assume, oh, she didn't text you back because she's not interested. And that can be the case sometimes, but sometimes she just got busy. Sometimes her notifications didn't go through. I cannot count the number of times. So the girl's like, oh my God, I'm so ha happy you hit me up. I meant to text you back. Or, oh, I thought my text went through. Oh, my text didn't send. Oh, shit, I texted the wrong number. There's so many valid reasons why a girl may want to talk to you, but she didn't text you back. It's okay to be persistent. Again, as long as you give it a general rule of thumb is 48 hours, right? And again, even if you, she didn't respond to your double text, you can wait a week and then triple text her, right? I have so many interactions where the only reason I was able to meet up with the girls because I was very persistent, I double and triple texted. In fact, I find that with the hotter girls that you meet online, the girls are like the eights and nines, you're typically gonna have to double and triple text. You have to be very, very persistent because there's a lot of guys going for these girls. These girls are a little bit more standoffish, they're a little bit more picky, and you have to be extremely persistent. So again, if you wanna put your ego out there and be like, oh, I will never double text a girl based on principle, that's fine, but just know that you're gonna miss out on some of the hottest girls that you can meet online. So it kind of is what it is. Now let's move on to myth number two. Response time. If a girl is taking 30 minutes to an hour to text you back on average, you need to wait minimum 30 minutes to get back to her. If she's taking one to two hours, you need to wait one hour minimum. So again, there's an element of truth here, right? Because if a girl's text taking a while to respond, you don't want to be instant texting her because that sends the wrong message, right? So a girl's taking two hours to respond, you're instant texting her. That's, you know, that's not ideal, right? That's suboptimal. However, you do not have to match her response time. This is commonly, I hear guys say this, oh, this girl text took four hours to respond, so now I'm sitting around for four hours waiting so I can text her back. It's like, dude, what the hell? That sounds absolutely crazy. Also, if the girl's taking a while to respond, if you're gonna take a while to respond, that's gonna completely kill the flow of conversation and you're never gonna be able to make plans, right? Because typically, in order to make plans, you need a nice little barrage of text back and forth, right? The response time has to be reasonable, right? So if you're playing hard to get, she's playing hard to get, it's just plans are never gonna get made, right? So it's okay. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna be always insta responding to the girl. However, again, if the girl responded in an hour, you can respond to her in 20 minutes. Again, I don't sit there thinking, oh my God, this girl texted me an hour and 25 minutes, so I have to wait an hour and 26 minutes, right? That's pure craziness, right? What you wanna do is you wanna have a life, you wanna have things going on, you're not sitting on your phone. And typically what I do is when I check my phone, I see a bunch of texts, I text everyone back. I don't care how long it's been, right? Then I put my phone down, I go do something, I pick up my phone, do something, and you know, I text girls back, right? Again, if you have absolutely nothing going on in your life, well, probably the best solution is to get some things going on in your life, but if you can't do that, at the very least, you know, just basically take 20, 30 minutes, but again, you don't have to be OCD about it. You don't have to match her response time because that is probably going to kill the flow of conversation if she's taking a while. Let's move on to myth number three. The only thing that you should be using text messaging for is to meet up with her. Okay, so this one is text game is only for making plans. Text game is only for making logistic. Text game is only for meeting up. Don't try to get her in over text. Don't have a conversation over text. Don't do any of that over text. It's only for meeting up with girls. And again, another one, there's an element of truth. You don't want to be sitting there all day just texting her, being her like gay text buddy, right? So that is true. You don't want to do that. However, nowadays, a lot of girls, before meeting up with a guy, they want to get a feel for his vibe. And the way they typically do that is over text, right? So if with every girl that you're talking to, if you're like, hey, let's meet up, and you're unwilling to have a conversation with her over text, you're going to miss out on a significant percentage of girls that you have met up with. And you're going to miss out on some of the hottest girls, because some of the hottest girls are going to be very, very selective, right? They have hundreds of guys. Why would she just meet up with the first guy that just offers plans, right? She's probably going to be selective. She's going to be weeding guys out, looking for red flags. And again, if you're unwilling to play that game at all, right, you're going to miss out on a 
big percentage of the girls, especially some of the hottest ones, right? So you guys can see a pattern here, how some of this advice that you hear is gonna make you miss out on some of the hottest girls that you can meet online. So it's okay to text with the girls, it's okay to have a conversation. General rule of thumb I have is I try to get the girl invested over text, right? Again, it doesn't need to take long, right? I just ask interesting questions, I make some funny jokes, I send her some memes, some photos, right? Once I get her invested, then I make plans, right? But again, if you're completely not willing to do that, right, and just constantly just go straight for the meetup, a lot of girls are not gonna meet up with you because again, nowadays a lot of girls expect to get to know you at least a little bit, feel out your vibe over text. Now let's move on to myth number four. Here's why you shouldn't sexualize over text before actually meeting the girl on the date. I see a lot of guys. So I sexualize over text all the time. There's nothing wrong with sexualizing over text as long as it is congruent with your profile. So if you have a very like PG profile, it's like very like, you know, you look like a nice boyfriend material, like a very nice guy, a nice nerd, right? And then you start being very sexual over text, that's not gonna work well. However, if you have a profile like mine, which has kind of like a fuckboy profile, I have a shirtless photo, I have a sexual bio, and then when I sexualize, it's very congruent and that's totally okay. The reason I like being sexual right off the bat is because it screens the girls out. I don't wanna meet up with girls who are ultra religious, I don't wanna meet up with girls who are super conservative, I don't wanna, meet up with girls who are waiting until marriage, right? These are all kind of girls that I wanna screen out. And the way I do that is by being somewhat sexual over text. Now the question is, to which degree are you gonna be sexual, right? And there's different approaches you can take. You can be explicitly sexual. I personally prefer to be a little bit more implicitly sexual. However, you can do either one of those things. That personally comes down to style and how heavily and how aggressively you wanna screen. But there's nothing wrong with being at least somewhat sexual over text, as long as you do it in a very smooth and progressive way. And I have videos on this showing you exactly how to sexualize. So again, if you go from zero to 60, if you're like, hey, how's your day going? The girl's like, good, how about you? Good, just thinking about that pussy, right? Yeah, that's a hard no, but as long as you're doing a very smooth, you know, calm, collected, progressive way, that's gonna be a completely different story. And let's move on to our last myth. When a woman flake on you guys, accept this for what it is. Her ass got a better option than you. Some came up better than you. Okay, I hear this all the time. And again, there's an element of truth here, right? Sometimes when a girl flakes on you, it is because a better option came along, but that's not the majority of the time. Most of the time when a girl flakes on you, it's because she's sitting at home with her girlfriends watching Gossip Girls, or she's eating ice cream, or she's just having anxiety and she doesn't feel like doing anything and she's surfing TikTok, right? Or because she has cramps. It's something like not exciting like that, right? That's typically what most of your flakes are. It's not because she's out there banging some giga chat. It's because she's just feeling a little anxious or she's feeling a little insecure or because one of her girlfriends came up and she feels bad and she wants to hang out with her friends, right? It's usually something kind of along the lines of that, and that's okay. So if you assume that every time you get flaked on it's because a better guy came along, that's gonna make you very bitter and resentful because you're gonna get flaked on a lot in the modern day marketplace, and that is okay. I personally don't give a shit when I get flaked on. Typically, what I do is I will set two or three dates for the for the same night. So let's say I wanna get laid on Friday night. I'll set up two or three girls for Friday night, right? One or two of them will flake, which will leave me with one or two dates, right? That's fine. And, you know, if all three girls come through, I will just pick the hottest one and politely say to the other girls, hey, can we meet up another time, right? But even if, in the small chance that all three of those girls flake, I'm setting the dates either straight to my house to a bar nearby, so I'm not actually going to my house, I'm not losing any of my time, right? Okay, all the girls disappear, I'm gonna hit up my friends, I'm gonna hit up, you know, fuck buddy, I'm gonna go, you know, watch a movie, something along the lines of that, right? Again, so as long as you structure things very correctly, it's not a big deal, right? But you don't wanna get into this habit because first of all, it's not factually true, right? Just talk to girls and you'll see that most of the time when they flake, it's not some cool, exciting reason like she's hanging out with like a giga chat, right? And the second of all, it's gonna make you very bitter and resentful and that's gonna put you in the wrong mindset when you're texting Girls. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable. And on this channel, I always give you guys practical, no BS advice that actually works, not just shit that sounds nice in a soundbite. Anyway, if you wanna see more of that, show us some love by smashing the like button, hit subscribe, click the bell for notification, and share this video with a friend or two who you think is making one of these texting mistakes. Also, if you wanna see our video on how to properly sexualize, click here, or go to our brand new PWF Clips channel where you can see the highlights and all the best parts of debates here. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.